Keithley and Cloven Athletic Club was formed out of two clubs, uh, Keithley Hill Runners and Keithley Road Runners. And one of the major drivers for that merger was how best to deal with the juniors and give them maximum opportunity to get the best out of themselves in running and in athletics in general. Jack uh, went through the Keith Lincrave and um, Athletics Club age groups um, from seven years old. Evie's 16 now and she started at the club when she was eight. Well, my son has been running here for about two to three years now. We've been um, coming to Keith Lincraven for approximately the last five years. Um, we joined uh, because of my sons. We're keen to um, improve the running. There is a club in Skipton, but we just felt that the, here in Keithley, you've got the track. Um, it seemed like there was a really good crowd. I chose Keithley and Craven because they were the most friendliest people. That always made me feel welcome when I went to a show, as if we were already you know, running for the club. experience as a junior. Um, age 10 at my local running club I had a very uh, forward-thinking coach who told us I'm training you to be a good senior and that's 15 years off and I didn't understand that at the time but uh, I can look back on that now and think wow wasn't he amazing he got it so right for me and he's someone I'm still in contact with and I'll always be really thankful to him for uh, that long, long-term view he took with me, and, and that's what I want to bring to everyone here. Keith and Craven have a fantastic structure to the training for the kids. My experience is that they're very dedicated, they give up a lot of time, the coaches are really helpful, they plan the sessions, and they're focused. I think it's a, it's a very good place to come and see where your talent lies. When you look around the country at other athletics clubs, second to none, Everyone uh, sort of is at different levels of fitness or maturity. Um, they might be targeting different races. So uh, every week before the session, we'll have a, a general plan of what the session is. But, and that will be uh, on a piece of paper waiting for everyone when they arrive. We want them to uh, think about how they run a lot because we want them at this age to become really efficient at their running. And another big thing is their speed, uh, because when you're young you have natural speed and you want to keep that speed for when you're older, because even if you run a marathon, you'd still like to be fast. We do a lot of work around endurance running, but also um, particularly in the, younger, in the younger age groups, um, do lots of other athletic opportunities, throwing, jumping. There's focus not only on running but on the full body development. As the uh, juniors get older, they choose to specialise in uh, what interests them most. Um, having laid the foundations earlier on in a whole series of events. When we opened the fixed cross-country course in Cliff Castle, that was done by none other than David Hemery, who was the gold medalist in the 1968 Olympics, and Philbert Bailly, who was the former World 1500 metre champion, both of whom said that they would love to come and share our facilities. So we're very lucky at Keithley here to have this fantastic track on, on site, which means our kids are getting a real opportunity to uh, run a really high quality um, track and, 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 and facilities. What's invaluable about the club is how they pitch the training at an appropriate level for their age, um, so they've got somewhere to go in the future, and so there is, there's a really good structure in terms of bringing, bringing the children on. Um, people have breaks at different times, so we need to keep talking to everyone as individuals and make sure that they're doing the right training at the right time to get the best out of themselves in the races that they are bothered about. We do have international runners here within the junior sections who are able to take people right to 
the pinnacle of, of, of an athletics career. Um, but we also have people who just want to come and, and, and just be fit and be fit and healthy and lots of people in between. So we enter teams into athletics leagues, um, we compete on the road, uh, we compete at cross country and we compete at, at, at fell running. But we also enter all the national relay competitions particularly and we'll travel to wherever we need to in the country to put, to put teams and individuals into that. They're not necessarily doing the biggest training volumes now, they're giving themselves room to increase their training when they're older, when the body is actually mature enough and ready enough to do the, the right volume of training. K-Team will have had uh, their ups and downs in running, they've had the good times, they've also had the bad times, uh, the coaches have been there especially when they were going through the bad times and sometimes when you can be winning everything and then all of a sudden not winning, that's quite hard uh, and it's certainly been hard for my children but they've come through it, they still train, the, the coaches have been there and they, they provide a lot of support when, uh, when as parents can't. When Santi joined he felt quite nervous about doing races, he puts a lot of pressure on himself to win and I think the club and the coaches have helped him to deal with uh, losing or not coming as far up in the chain as he wants to um, but they've also really helped him develop the skills so he can win sometimes. They both study quite hard so it, I think it's just kind of they come down just to forget everything what's going on in school basically. She's made lots of new friends through Running Club that she wouldn't have known if she hadn't come. And I think it helps her uh, in her private life and in the schoolwork as well. It's something completely different from her, uh, her normal everyday life. And we've gone over the years and got frozen solid and wet through, but you know, you've got to go and support. <laughs> I enjoy watching people running. <laughs> Simple as that. I, I, yeah, I like watching people running. I still enjoy running myself and uh, I just want to make a difference. Um, I owe a lot to the sport and I really want to pay that forward. It's really developed over the years and grown and grown with the help of some fantastic coaches and volunteers. And I would say that that's probably the wrong order because the volunteers start off by volunteering and become coaches later on. A number of committed people um, have given up probably years of their personal time in making sure that the uh, athletes, the young athletes who we've attracted over the years are nurtured and, and held to the best of uh, their ability. The volunteering side of Keithley and Craven comes from the parents. Um, they both support and also help out with the younger groups and the training um, at all different levels. I think what people might not realise is the whole club is run by volunteers. You know, you've got Val on the desk taking the money, she's a volunteer. There's a committee that works behind the scenes. We've been involved in putting on um, FRA races. That's all been um, possible because you've had people at the club um, volunteering and helping. Uh, to me, uh, a lot of the coaches give their time, a lot of their own time. As a parent at the club, uh, obviously the club is very important to me. I do support the club and to me, I volunteer because I want to give that time back for them, really, and, 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 and the children. You can do as much as half an hour helping out or you can commit yourself to coming down on Tuesdays and Thursdays to help out and help um, you know, take the kids out for a run or join the adults and the, um, the runs out with the seniors at, at various levels. Without those people, there is no structure for the kids to develop and to, to progress their athletics careers in whatever standard they want to achieve. Uh, you can put as little or as much time into the club as you wish. I've never in my time since I was the original chair of the club seen so many helpers, so many parents, so much enthusiasm and so much uh, great things going on and uh, long may it continue. Two of my children have been members of the, of the club and benefited from the environment and the camaraderie and the, and the coaching. So I, I started off just helping out, really enjoyed it, wanted to be part of it and then set about doing my own coaching badges and progressing through the coaching structure to the point now where I lead one of the coaching groups. 
one of the biggest challenges we had as a club all through the years has been to start off kids at a very young age and bring them all the way through so they turn into seniors and adults and indeed volunteers and coaches themselves. And that is a really self-sustaining and rewarding process that it's great to see really developing now at Keithley. Um, I think it's, it's just really, really rewarding to work with children who are pushing themselves really hard and, and, and working really hard, but also having fun with it. The reward to see progress and um, sheer enjoyment on young people's faces is, is a massive reward. That's something that money can't buy, really. Instead of being one of the clubs that we hoped young people would come to, it is now almost the club to come to in terms of the, our particular district. They've been amazing for our two girls, they've been really good. They've encouraged them but they haven't been silly about it, taking things in their own time nice and steady. Because they've got to be comfortable with the training that they do or else they're not going to do it. If you push children, they, they just stop. I remember Joe, he was 13, uh, at primary school they have the cross country races and Joe never made that um, North Yorkshire cross country final um, and then uh, next month Joe will be running for Great Britain in Argentina mountain running so that has happened over the last five years and I've got to thank um, the coaches here and the club in terms of getting him to the level is now um, which he wouldn't have been able to do on his own. He's really excited about where potentially his running will go um, because his training load is nowhere near the training load of other athletes and he knows he's got somewhere to go. Um, and so I think that's thanks to, to Alan, really, his coach here at the club, in terms of how he's planned his development quite carefully over the years and, and how he gets him ready. And I'm sure Louis will get the same benefit as well. Uh, he's now 17, nearly 18, and he's just moving up into the uh, into the senior ranks and running with the seniors. And he's, he's run for Yorkshire, and he's uh, he's aspiring to run for for England in the fells in the mountain running. We want them to to to, to come and enjoy being fit and healthy and and, and active. Hopefully, develop a, a long term love for the sport. People who enjoy training want to do more, want to keep coming. Uh, and my ultimate goal is that uh, everyone who runs now is still running in 10 years' time or 20 years' time because they can achieve great things as runners, but I just want people to run because they enjoy it and it, it's a way of life. I think, I think the training helps you uh, build life skills, uh, relationships, you know, you have to get along with other people, uh, you have to train together, you have to work together, you have to communicate but also a way to relax and it's just a great base to work from. And we think it's been the best thing that we could have ever done for her when we brought her down to start at Keithy and Craven. This is a, a lifelong legacy, uh, to have fitness, to, to make the most of uh, what you've been given and to take that then into adulthood. Now I see fire inside the mountain and I see fire burning the trees and I see fire